Do people still Snapchat? Yeah. Tits? Oh, yeah. Tits. <laughs> Do people, is that what Snapchat's used for? Tits? No, well, is, is the front door clear? Tits and balls. Balls and tits. McCulkin. McCulkin. Macaulay. Macaulay Culkin. Is Macaulay Culkin here today? <laughs> Good thing he never went to school. God. He just didn't go to school? Well, he was busy. Michael Jackson stuff, you know. Is Alex trying to send a pic? Oh, yeah. A Q-tip mirror pic. A Q-tip? Q-T, a cute tit mirror pic. I'm responding to our editors. <laughs> With a tit pic? Alex, Jesus. <laughs> Could a guy oh. send a tit pic and it look like a woman's tit? Depend on how fat the guy is. <laughs> I've seen male uh, male boobies. Yeah. No, but like a flat chested. No, then you can't make a flat. I, I, I would know. What if know. you go so macro on it that it looks like a no booby? Like like yeah, impossible. Mine wouldn't work though. Oh, you're specifically? Yeah, I got hairy nipples. <laughs> Most guys have hairy nipples. <laughs> I was just Girls, too. And girls get a hair every now and again. Um, <laughs> we've discovered you don't, clearly. No, there could be. No, you're hairless. <sighs> I wish I was hairless. Are some, are some boobs so flat that they look like... like Chesticles? Pe- pe- like pe- are some pecaroos? women's chests so flat that they look like... Guys. a man's chest yes as the resident boob expert <laughs> yes <laughs> like there's no do you remember being like in third grade yeah but our that some, continues some on some women stay that way imagine going your whole life with big tits and you're like damn do small tit girls look in the mirror and go fuck bro <laughs> they do <laughs> nice <Okay>. pecs <laughs> <laughs> like there's no like no nothing, i that was nothing. me have you never why do i want keep wanting to say boogle fat when did you get tits yeah were you born fourth with, grade you born with breasts? probably no but i mean like are there some women that grow up with yes. the same look <laughs> yes damn i know interesting welcome to my life especially if you have like never mind what 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 no just like, just like now. bigger nipples knew but that like, was coming. no <laughs> I don't think you have that big of nipples if you have no um, tits. Oh, you think there's a correlation of size? Not really, but I just, in my mind, I can't picture huge nipples. I can picture them. Oh, because <laughs> you just got sent them on your Twitter? Yeah, yep, yep. Are we live? Oh, we could be. <laughs> Are you live? <laughs> Dang, I, I always get surprised. Now I'm sweating. <laughs> All right, we opened with tits. Now it's time for dicks. People have been waiting for two weeks for dicks. Oh, yeah. You're right. You're right. Okay, so let me tell you what's on my mind regarding dicks. <laughs> there is a store called Dicks, and they have commercials that say, Come to Dicks. <laughs> Imagine if there was a store that was like, Pussies is open. <laughs> I'm disturbed. And everyone's okay with it. What do you think pussies would sell? Because dicks is Sweaters. sporting. I don't know. Sweaters. <laughs> I just like, I'm, I'm, I was shocked. Like, it would be like cookware. I keep, there's like, dick, I swear, dicks is running like a fucking special. And I see dicks commercials all day, every day. I can't even type dicks on my phone without getting it to spell something different. But you can say it on TV. You can say, come to dicks. It is true. How is this possible? We sh- there should be a pussy store. I think so too, and then they should have commercials. But again, commercials, commercials. Macaulay and goes pussies. It's cold. It's weird in do here. You think, <laughs> do you think that they would sell home cookware? Because like Pussy. Dicks is so like masculine. I'm going to Dicks. So like I'm going to get sporting man. goods. Okay, so, so pussies what? sells. Well, well, people like to say pussies are weak, but we know differently. We're very yeah. tough. We're very tough. We are pussies. <laughs> Since we know we've been around pussies. Yeah. We know I don't even like to say pussy. You haven't even seen your own pussy. I, I haven't seen my own butthole, Alina. That is so <laughs> different. That is like night and day. So you have seen your vagina. I've been around it. I'm so You never like looked at it? What do you mean looked at it? Like similar to the butthole thing. No. Mirror, mirror no. down between your legs. You know, I saw that goop show. With, with Gwyneth Paltrow, where she had the mirror in front of everyone's VGs. And I was like, you know what? I'm happy with what I think mine looks like. So I'm just going to go with what it looks like in my mind. Have you ever sent a nude? 
Of my vagina? <laughs> oh, no. I don't think fucking anyone's like, hey, sit in front of... No. Yeah, for sure people want to oh, see it. Oh, oh, oh. You've done that? You're lying straight to my face. I, I haven't, but... Oh, exactly. I was... But I, the question was, have you sent a nude? I'm going to go with TBD. You know? <laughs> <laughs> there's still time. Yeah, there's still time. Okay, back to this. Now that I have boobs. <laughs> back- yeah. Now... Uh, can you believe but it? It could just be Richards. It's not though. And how did how did how Dick, did Dick become get from the Richard? Nick? And like, how is that okay to be like, yeah, my name is Richard, but call me Dick. Yeah. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. No one says like, hi, my name is. Hi, my name's Kathy, but call me cunt. Yes. <laughs> that doesn't exist. I know. I actually think it would be cunts. Cunts. <laughs> Instead of pussies. What about coonts? Come down to coonts. I don't know. <laughs> the founder of Dicks. Yeah. His name is Dick Stack. Like what fucking parent <laughs> did <Dick> that? Stack? <laughs> Dick Stack. Would do that to a kid. Founded you in 1948, that? Binghamton, New York, an avid fisherman. Dick was approached by the store owner to come up with a list of products needed to get into the fishing tackle business. And Dick's Sporting Goods was born. Richard Dick Stack. Richard. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Richard. Is- Richard Dick Stack. Air quotes, oh, so stack. his name's Richard. Yes, but Do Dick you think for that sure. There's people out there who named their kid Richard and then the Dick's nickname came later and they didn't realize. Probably. I'll, I'll look when did Dick become did invented? Become yeah. Let's not call people that are named yeah, Richard just Dick. Stop naming your kids Richard. Yeah. I think Richard's over. No one's going to name their kid that from no, here on out. No one wants to be called Dick. We'll send out a Do you memo. want to guess? Do you want to guess when you think Dick came about? <laughs> no. Is it uh, up or down? can't cheat okay 1926 oh 1892 columbus er- sailed early 13th century what the what? hell <laughs> well you should have really pointed far <laughs> yeah. oh no not the tree not the tree i touched the tree there's nothing wrong with touching the tree <laughs> oh <laughs> you've established it's okay yeah. um wow the 1300s that could be any time and only only in the <laughs> mid were named richard in the 1300s and not like prometheus <laughs> Zeus? Wasn't that when <laughs> Zeus was around? Oh, it's like King Richard. Isn't that like around that time? Oh, uh, when was King Richard around? Wait, King Richard. Isn't that Serena's That's, Serena yeah. and Venus's that is, that dad? Is. I just you, missed my whole mouth. Yeah, you dribbled all the way down <laughs> your shirt. But that was also a king of England. And he was king in the f- 15th century. The whole century thing really boggles my mind because we're the talking century? 15th century, but are we talking 1600s? It's always before. After. So... It's always that it's the number. If it's always 15th century, that means it's the 1600s. 1600s. Yes. But like, don't fucking. But why isn't it just called the 16th century? Exactly. I don't know. Don't don't ask me. You know what? I think (laughs) it's because. Why? Why? What the fuckery? It's because teachers needed to quiz. Uh, isn't it because okay think back to zero you know say you have a vendetta against teachers (laughs) (laughs) fuck the teacher everyone's like good job teachers i'm just really concerned i just it's okay we're all having a hard day also we're both wearing gray today this is blue we're we're, we're jumping all around but the word dick for sexual meaning only came out in the 17th century so for 400 years what was was it called what was it called before yeah (laughs) wiener (laughs) penis what was it called before dicks? It was yeah. called the cock. <gasps> I think so. No way. Called. It was called cock. Because so. there was oh. roosters back in the day. They didn't want to give them a bad name. <laughs> okay. This is just from the Chicago Tribune. 1460, pin. 1611, plum tree shaker. <laughs> Wait, plum tree shaker was pee-pee? I don't know what the 1686 knickknack. Oh, do you think that the balls are the plum? <gasps> yes, it's a yeah, plum I guess shaker. So. And then you shake it. <laughs> knickknack. Oh, they do wow. look like plums. Okay, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. All right. Medieval names for for the penis. Tail, mint stock, awe inspiring. Okay, come you on. You know what I do always say? Penises are the tails for the front. You know, oh. it's just like boys are animals, but they have their tail in the front and they wag. And no, I know, and they do things. I'm not seeing cock anywhere. Wow. It's because cock is He's just a rooster. It's just been around for so long. It it predates history. <laughs> it predates Jesus. It goes back before AD and BC. 17th century. That could be any time again. 1800s. When guys when guys talk about their own penis, do they what do they use like do you say my wiener? Like like I'm picturing like a guy talking yeah. to another guy and he's like, Oh yeah, like my penis is like 
itching itching or like whatever the issue yeah is. what would you say like, like or do you go up to your boys and you're like my cock is itching is that cock pretty aggressive yeah what what would you what would terminology I, I don't think i've ever seen my penis oh what, about, like, what would you like, say my, my probably dick dick or di- maybe pee pee wee wee <laughs> but what, what would you say yeah, probably, dick. probably dick or cock Oh, cock. Oh, that's oh. So cock. Like, cock, cock. That's aggress- so like... Cock when you're trying hey, to be like aggressive. And I have a massive... Oh, my cock. cock. Yeah. <laughs> my cock. Yeah. Ugh. That would be like trying to assert your dominance yeah. over your friends. Yeah. I, I think, I think have you, you seen all your friends' like, as cocks? <laughs> 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 uh, I, hmm, all of my friends? Well, like, good, have you seen like 90% of your friends' peepees? Yeah. And like, what situations do you get into where you would see them? I like, mean, do you I show played, it? I played. <laughs> <laughs> I saw all like my college soccer teammates' penises. We all showered. Like penis. Oh wow! So yeah, you didn't call them that's true. That's true. That's, I guess you know. Group, group could be penis. Yeah, penis. Cox. Hmm. I saw all their dicks because we would shower together. Oh, okay. same dicks. Wow. <laughs> you can use any terminology for the week. Yeah. I saw all their wee wees because we all showered together. <laughs> their plum shakers. Yeah, their plum tree shakers. <laughs> you make eye contact. Yeah. When we were showering. Yeah. We would. There with was the some. Hole. Did you look the up? Hole? <laughs> Did you like look like this? I mean, I was taller than most people, so I didn't have to like look up at their penises. I'd be looking Could down. Could you see? So you would didn't... you look in your peripheral? Yeah. No, what? I was just shower. <laughs> wow. And then, like, we would all dance and stuff. <gasps> With your wheeze out? Yeah. I don't know how I feel about wheeze jiggling. Like, without, <laughs> without protection. Without protection? Yeah, does liquid come out? When you no, pee? No, you what? jiggle. No, because liquid doesn't come out when we jiggle. It had to be similar. <laughs> <laughs> um, wow, so, so you've seen all your friends' wheeze. Not all of them, but I'd say a, a large thing. chunk. Mine? Oh, oh God. <laughs> should I have should, should somebody else's be my favorite? No, you're right. You should say yourself. That's yeah. a positive. Yeah, for sure. Since you're an athlete, you've also seen a lot of wees. I'm a female. So <laughs> but Do you not see your teammates wheeze, Sarah? No, I feel like the I thing like about girls don't ever take off their panties. No, but when you no, shower. We shower. But like no one like do that. Well, you didn't play a college sport. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you weren't playing. <laughs> like like our shower was like literally just like a long hallway with like shower heads. And yeah, that was it? Same thing. Yeah. No dividers or anything. No. Yeah. But like again, vaginas are on the inside. You know, it's not like you see a lot. That's true. Yeah. But you could see the mons pubis. I don't know what that scientific term. That's the, clarifies. That's the front. Okay, like yeah, but like it's I, uh, it's. <laughs> Mm, I don't think like you think there's the so much front. happening it is. Is it just like the, the top part I thought yeah. that's the front right above it yeah that's the front okay long story short I don't think there's less to see with vaginas than, that's like, true for plum shakers you got two plums and you got the tree yeah okay there's a lot or, happening or in some cases the twig or in some or cases the mint the stick yeah the mint, mint stick. stick so like there's so much there's so much happening down there that there's a lot to look at for vajis you know, yeah. it's all tucked under. Yeah, it is. Some tough. are, some are tucked. Some are. You know, you would know, probably know more than hanging me. out. Some are hanging out. I guess if you're fifty. <laughs> oh, do your vagina sag I as you so. age? Everything gets lower. Everything goes down to Chinatown. <laughs> I can't. Yeah, because imagine sa- you've seen a saggy butt. I guess it's like gravity. Yeah, it's pushing everything down. My face is gonna be. Fully be to my tits in 20 years. Hmm. Huh. Uh, it doesn't really say it sags. It says it becomes less elastic, shorter, and narrower. Shorter? Oh, wow. Well, well, well. Shorter? <laughs> wow. This is all from Dick Sporting Goods. I think they should change their name to be something more proper. Alina's yeah. offended. Yeah, it is crazy that like kids can just be like, we're going to dicks. dicks. There's a little sag. Sorry, there's a little sag. I know it. it. There's no way there wouldn't be any sag. Elasticity keeps it up and tight. Yeah. You've got to put retinol down there. Ew. It seems like it would burn or something. Yeah, probably. That can't be good. (coughs) So is that that what dicks was on your mind mind for? Like the sporting goods or just the like penises? The sporting goods store, how can they call themselves dicks if I can't even type dicks out on my phone yeah. without it being spell corrected yeah. to like winks or something? How can they just put dicks on the TV? We can barely put anything in our commercials. Yeah. But dicks is fine. Yeah. They had to buy the URL. They had to buy dicks.com because people kept typing in dicks.com looking for dick sporting goods. 
and it would just it would just be a website of just <gasps> penises cocks <laughs> that's what i mean it is, it is crazy. It is a it is a loophole that Dix yeah. has found to And we all just say we're going to Dix? What? Yeah, I do I have said that. I know. What have you bought at a sporting goods store? They have a lot of stuff that like workout clothes? Yeah, like or like if a pair of Uggs is like sold out everywhere, they'll have them because no one's getting them at Dix. Remember sport shall I? Oh god, the good old days. Oh yes. That, that was like That, that was a good to. sports store because it yeah. wasn't called Dix. I know. It's gone. Should we start a store? Called- I can't believe you know about Sports Chalet, but you don't know about Rite Aid Thrifties. I know about Rite Aid Thrifties. Uh, duh. I'm just saying. You didn't know. Yes, I do. No, you didn't know. Alina, I'm telling you, you right to your face. You didn't know that no. Thrifties was Rite Aid. No, yes, I did. No, you didn't. I know I didn't. I can't remember. Oh, if I know. I, wait, let's roll the tape. I knew I think, Thrifties I, was I right. Think, I think that Sarah's point was that Thrifties is not like the cornerstone sorbet. Yeah. Or sherbet. Sherbet. I'm saying Baskin Robbins cornerstone. No, but I'm sure. pretty sure you didn't know. I knew. That Thrifties was part of Rite Aid. No. I 100% could tell you I knew. Because I've been in there. And I knew. And I had ice cream from there. And I was like, good, but not Baskin Robbins. But then I told you guys that it was bought out. Yeah. I knew all this. I, I know the history I didn't of, know it. Any of that. Were you not here? I was here. You didn't back me up. No, I agree with all your what you were saying. I thought the discussion was more on the color that Rainbow Sherbet should be. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And my, in my opinion, it did, Rainbow it did get there, be. but we did divert to talk about yeah. how Thrifties was. Mm-hmm. Shall we? Shall we put a cap on dicks? Are there yeah. any last minute questions? Yeah, uh, uh, questions from the audience. Anyone? <laughs> <laughs> Anyone? I still think we should open a store called Pussies and see what happens. No, no, cunts. I don't know if cunts is the right one. Maybe in England you can get away with that. Yeah, yeah. you can't say that here. Why can you not say that? But you could say dicks. Dicks. What dicks? It'd be be like cocks. Yeah, you could. Or, yeah. Or like throbbing cocks versus cunts. (laughs) Throbbing. Hard cocks. Yeah, hard cocks. Yeah, you can't just say like (laughs) cunts. You can't. But I I don't make the rules, but I follow them. You know, I'm really hungry. Well, you could have had snacks before we started. I know. So you're going to have to wait. And now I'm craving pizza. Okay. It's way too early for that. I know. It's never too early for pizza. Pizza is a great breakfast food. I also don't agree with cold pizza. So that's just who I am. Really? No, I don't do it. But uh, there's another thing that's really been yanking my jimmy. Let me tell you about it. Okay. Dog birthday parties. (laughs) It's been yanking at my tail. My front tail. Yeah. I don't know. And like, look, I don't want to yuck anyone's yum. Right? As they say. Right. who is putting money into a dog party? Who's doing that? I've seen it on Instagram. People be doing it. Gals. Sing. Like, like, what what do you think about like a little like, you know, birthday patty? What do you mean? With a candle. Oh, hell yeah. Get your dog treats. Okay. But you're going to have people come over to your house and have like balloons and like no. a dog You've seen that yes recently this is like a, an la thing like people have dog parties what i know it was ollie's fifth birthday and, and you didn't I took, throw a fucking party i took him to my niece's first birthday that sounds like a great fifth birthday party for a dog that's what i would want to do did you tell him it was for him as well no oh, well, you missed a chance but there isn't that weird that as is hell? weird that is weird you know what else i don't like what let's just talk about things i don't like and everyone has over the years has asked me to do this, but I just can't do it. Okay. A dog Instagram. Uh, I'm not writing captions for Ollie <laughs> as if it's Ollie. It's me. We all know it's you. It's so weird. It's weird. I it's, can barely write captions for myself. I'm yeah. You think I'm going to have Ollie have his own Instagram? Like what? And like people follow lots of dogs. Like I get it. Dogs are cute, but like stumble upon them. But it's <laughs> like they don't. They don't write their captions. They're dogs, you guys. They don't know it's their first birthday. They don't post the pictures. They don't even know the internet is out there. They don't know the joke that I you're know. making. They're honestly offended they don't even know what that you put them Instagram out there. story is. No, they don't. It's so stupid. It's so dumb. Like I no, don't get it. No, I'm not making an account for Ollie. Find him on my account. Yeah, I'll post I'm a pic gonna, there. What's the point of having a dog if I can't? expose him on your own page what's the word not expose as a cuckold if i can't he is that he is for exploit sure. him yeah I, need, I i agree i gotta pay my vet bills for him i gotta exploit him somehow i agree. think he's gonna have his own account no also like you hate me that much what that you don't want to see my content weeded through with ollie's 
Oh, I wasn't going that way. I don't think I was going towards hate. <laughs> I think it's where they love Ollie so much yeah. that they want to see him. Yeah, but I'm not going to be like, today I barked. Like, yeah, because <laughs> he does that every day. He does. When, anytime I come over, he smells me. <sighs> it's so stupid. I would like to talk. It was Thanksgiving. Yep. Thanksgiving came. 30, also and it, 35th Thanksgiving went. episode. <gasps> what the hell? Okay, so 35. <laughs> What will we be doing at 35? You'll be having three kids at that uh, point. I will have like a child by then. Uh, for sure. Alex will have two. Alex is going to be married. Yeah. Is it when we're 35 or when he's 35? I just like, well, I should say, well, but when Alex is 35, he'll have six kids. <laughs> oh my God. Oh yeah. Listen, what, he's with from New wife? Jersey. With one wife or multiple? One wife. One oh, wife. Sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're you're faithful. Life. Yeah. You're, oh, faithful. Okay. you're only 35. Sure. Sweet. No, it's just two years. Like, is it when he's 35? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, six kids in two years would be yeah. tough. Yeah, that would be I could favorite. get it done, though. You could do it. <laughs> I, could, yeah. could do I it. could. She couldn't. No. I could, yeah. Yeah. If but we're talking one wife, there's no way. She would have, yeah. No, she would have to have You'll have, have your second kid times. by 35. I don't think. Yeah. I don't know. You don't think? No. And I think you'll be, like, in a little house so. in the prairie dress. Like no, little, I told Like, you. little women style. No. I told you I'm Mrs. Claus and I'm in the forest. That's how I picked What I said. No, that is very different than House on the Prairie. I'm Mrs. Claus. That's how I view myself. I feel like you'll be milking a goat. I could milk a goat, I think. I could get, I could milk a goat. Yeah. I could milk a cow. I yeah. Think, I and think I'd be nervous at You'll first. have two kids. You'll be on a farm. You'll be in a little prairie dress. <sighs> I don't like the prairie dress. I want, I want a Mrs. And Claus. And you'll have a goat. Can I have a sheep too? Isn't that the same? No. Two different species. You can't fuck a sheep and a goat together. That, that's wrong. That's like saying a cow and a goat's the same. Have you ever seen a baby cow? Oh, my God. Yeah, you ate one. It's a veal. Oh, I love baby cow. <laughs> I love baby cow. They are so cute. Have you ever seen anyone put a bottle in a baby cow? Oh, my God. It's so fucking cute. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll milk a goat. No, no problem. Okay. I'll have a kid. Alex will have six. I think Alina's going to have all boys, if I'm being honest. Really? I yeah. I a boy mom. Yeah, same. Interesting. Yeah. Alex, you're going to have six girls. I actually think I will also. <laughs> I think we have twins too. My, my mom is a twin and my dad's brothers are twins. So it's like pretty like likely that this I, I might exciting. have twins. Yeah, I'm excited. So I, you're going to get six to, even faster. I could, yeah. Could happen. What if you had double twins? It'd be fucking terrifying. Can you imagine? At least you didn't have to carry them. Double that's, twins? I, like I, four? Pop out. Um, that's incredible. Like so four? Yeah. That. Quadruple? No, Let's. I mean like she. he has twins and then he has twins pair. again. Yeah. Double trouble. Toil and trouble. Right. Mary Kate and Ashley, you guys, duh. <laughs> Anyways, what else do you hate? Oh, okay, sorry. Back to Thanksgiving. Oh, wait, back to 35. <laughs> so I'm Mrs. Claus <laughs> sorry, before sorry, us. Sorry. <laughs> Alina beforehand had said we, we need to keep on track a little bit more. And this has been the that. most this has been the most hectic episode. It's because we're not on a piece of paper. Ever, yeah. No, no it's, it's nothing we, to do with a piece of paper. You know why I stopped doing the piece of paper? Because we would put twelve things on there. So we would talk about all twelve things. Because it was getting hard last week. I was trying to figure out what to title the episode. And I was like, okay, and like I was sitting there like perplexed and I was like, well, what'd you talk about? I'm like, we talked about so many fucking things. I cannot figure this out. And he was like, okay, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe more like topics and you stick to them. And I'm like, yeah, for sure. My, my note sheet for what, what last week was, was like the longest it's ever been oh, with like wow. different subjects yeah. and shit. Yeah. 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 Okay. Next week, not this week, because we <laughs> fucked yeah, it yeah, over. No, no, you guys, is, next week is, though, yeah. Yeah. we're going to have three <laughs> topics yeah. and we're going to stick to them. Deep Structure. Dive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We're going to deep dive on things. Wow. We're going to yeah. talk about those three things. I'm so oh, excited. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. Yeah. Let me get my notepad back out. Man. I'm going to start writing notes. So that's why we don't really even need a paper because we don't need 12 things on the list to talk yeah. about. That's true. But back to Mrs. Claus. Back to Mrs. Claus. So episode 35, I'll be Mrs. Claus in two years in the forest with my woodland creatures, milking a goat. Oh, I feel like you'd also have fairies. No, fairies aren't real, Alina. Yeah. Just because that <laughs> happened to you with your cousins in London <laughs> when you were young, I don't believe I that think shit. It, neither is Mrs. Claus. I mean. Wow. Come on. Honestly. What are you doing? Are you serious <laughs> about that? What the fuck? What? Take it. Take it back. Take what? it back. Take Mrs. Claus is real. So is Santa. Mrs. They're kids. But I can't have fairies? Alina. Oh, of course not. Of course not. Don't be ridiculous. Yeah. Fairies don't exist, but Santa does. Of everyone knows. Come on. Have you seen the Santa Claus? You have you to believe. Have, what age did you guys stop believing in Santa? 
when I saw my dad walk into the room to give me gifts. And I was like, oh, I guess it's not real. I think, oh. Did you tell it was I think him? it was, no. oh, I mean, yeah, I opened my eyes and I saw him. I was like, oh, I was like, I, he wasn't dressed as Santa and you could just recognize him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think parents go, I don't think parents like get in a suit to put out gifts. That's really? really dedicated no. dad, you, what do you uh, mean? That's what all parents did. No, parents I, do it at night. Maybe in like movies. Like, yeah. I don't know if like every dad has like a Santa, Santa costume suit. just like For sure they do. No, no way. No. You're no giving way. white people way too much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So they just sneak in? Well, yes. Like, yeah. They put the presents put under, the under the tree once the kids are asleep. What about yeah. the cookies and milk? Yes. They, take they a eat bite. that, yeah. yeah. You That's how I knew my dad was Santa because he has very obvious handwriting and he wrote my a note back as like Rudolph or Santa and I was like, it's just my father. <laughs> 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 I can tell this G is my dad. <laughs> No way, this is Rudolph. Huh. Um, yeah, we used to leave out carrots for Rudolph. Yeah, too. carrots for Rudolph, milk and cookies for Santa and Mrs. Claus. Duh. So, how old were you when you realized? I don't know how old that was. I, I could have anywhere in elementary, maybe fifth, fourth grade, yeah, something like that. Then, yeah. Oh, this, that was early. That's like typical. Like you start to become aware of yeah. the world. The same age I saw porn for the first time yeah. was the same age that I learned Santa was not wow, real. That, those things should not happen simultaneously. Wow. Yeah, I know. <laughs> The internet, I don't know what it's doing to people That's anymore. true. You grew up with the internet. Yeah. We didn't have the internet when we, we were growing up. We, no, we like, drew things down, like penises yeah. on paper. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, like I, I got out of like fourth grade class, went over to my buddy's house, and he showed me porn up, and I was like, I don't even know like what is going on here. Oh, my God. Fourth that is grade. so yeah. young, Alex. Oh, my gosh. It was weird. No wonder your hair was dyed blonde. Was <laughs> 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 no wonder I say cock. <laughs> Oh I still God. can't get over Santa. What, being alive? Marrying Mrs. Claus? Yeah. No, what's, what's I your mean, qualms? just like that your parents didn't dress up as Santa Claus. Wait, we go to the mall to see Santa Claus. That's how we see yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. He wouldn't just like, he didn't, he didn't have the time to stop at every My house. My dad like, isn't hey, big kids. enough to play Santa Claus. Like, you need a fat, fat guy. You got a huh. jolly man, mm -hmm. old with the white beard. And when the real Santa comes to drop your gifts off, he doesn't have time to, like, Chit chat. Yeah, he's, he's the whole busy. world. He's got the whole world to gift. Well, like, going yeah. down the chimneys. Bam, 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 bam. Seems like you guys still believe in him. Well, I try. Cannot. What, what, about, what about elves? Yeah, of course. There's no Santa without elves. No problem. Yeah, it's fairies that huh. don't exist. Have you seen I, Elf? I think yeah. fairies exist. If Santa exists, no fairies. Those exist. those two don't cross over worlds. It's the same world. No. I'm gonna look up at two fairies. Again. Are you even looking this up on Marianne? Yeah. Do fairies exist? The answer is no. Um, Thanksgiving. Do you want to tell us about... How, wow, what a noise came from Melina. Mm -hmm. um, do you want to tell us about how your Grandmaster Chef Day was? Yeah, I did it twice. Wait, what? what? Yeah, I did Friendsgiving too. You, and you cooked both full spreads? Yeah, pretty much. Jesus, but I, I, did have, I did have help. I had help. Okay. From who? The friends. Okay. Oh, okay. So they brought over accoutrements. No, we we did it all here. Oh, together, nice. yeah. God, I would be so pissed if I did two Thanksgiving meals, let alone one. It was good. I kind of switched <laughs> things up, like I made the the cornbread with jalapenos. Was worse. You don't like Thanksgiving food? No, it's such a pass. <gasps> like You're literally, not. it's like a three out of ten. <laughs> like, have you ever tried any other meal in your life? <laughs> yeah, it's trash day. That's crazy. Take the trash out. <laughs> I was eating leftovers all weekend. Yeah. It's so I would rather good. get turkey from the deli sliced up than eat a turkey from the well, oven. You're a vegetarian. No, but I've had turkey from the deli and it's good. And I've, I, the turkey from the oven is like fucking thick. It's like slice your well, turkey actually, thin. Pow, 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 pow. I was told by everyone that it was the best turkey they've ever had in their life. Oh, hell yeah. It was extremely juicy. Both times that you cooked the Super well turkey? seasoned. The second time we had a smoked turkey, which I didn't realize. I thought I was going to cook the turkey, but mm. it was already cooked. Mm. But the first Thanksgiving, it was the best turkey ever. And it was moist as fuck. It was juicier than chicken. I don't know the comparison there. That could be anything. I don't like thick meat. Yeah. Well, I, I sliced it thin. <laughs> I'm going to cut the dick's clip with that. <laughs> My face instantly went, that's going to hurt. Yeah. I just think it's even trash. Come on, no, you guys. No, 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 no. Have you ever had Italian food? Yeah, Better. Yeah, but you yeah. can have Italian food all year. Exactly. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Pasta? 
What do you got? You got a fucking table of I don't think, I don't think she's tried. Had she's had good sides. That's not true. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, I think that's the issue. That's not true. I, I have sweet go- potato casserole with uh, pecans. Sweet potato such a churn. Cornbread butter. stuffing. Mashed potatoes. Cranberry sauce. Mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes. Like, have potatoes. you tried French fries? Oh, oh my god. Gravy. Gravy is disgusting. It just like drizzles. Rolls. Rolls. I'm looking for a baguette. Pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie is a vegetable. I mean, they can't argue. It's I am pissed when pumpkin pie is a dessert. I am pissed. The only option is pumpkin pie. What about an apple pie? That's Thank for- God. Give me an apple pie. <laughs> oh, my God. What a waste. It's like mac and cheese. <sighs> Rather have a quesadilla. Come on. But How you- was your mac and cheese with the crumbs on I, top? I, I, did it, 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 I didn't like it. Everyone loved it. I didn't like it. So then I made so it. So it was dry again? Yeah. And then I made it. On the second Friendsgiving without baking it, and it was so much better. The second Friendsgiving without baking it. So you just had it on the stove top. Yeah. 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 I mean, do it both ways. I just, yeah, I don't think I, I don't think I know how to bake it well. It just dries it out. Understandable. I'm um, with you there. So, yeah. So you had a so great you have week. Brussels sprouts on your menu? I love Brussels oh, sprouts. See, that's where you're fucking I up. didn't have it on the menu, though, but I love Brussels sprouts. Oh, okay. How can you hate everything else we just listed and say yes to Brussels sprouts? You know what was that's the best cr- thing on my Thanksgiving crazy. table? Green beans. Okay, I was going to say green bean casserole, but green I was like, beans. there's no Well, it wasn't that. a casserole. Okay. It was green oh, beans. It was just green beans. It was, just green, it was green, green beans, beans with butter and uh, toasted almonds and those, garlic. Those, that that's good. good. That it was delicious. That uh, but good. that's not really Thanksgiving. That's like any time of the year. No, I would I, never I, eat I have, green I have, beans. I, have, I actually have green beans like that on Thanksgiving. Yeah, I would only Similar have to that. But then, but then they have casserole also. The green beans with butter is for the picky eaters. I made the casserole and then I made it plain, just like garlic, salt, and some fried onions on top, mm. and that was way better. Yeah, that sounds I think good. green beans are meant to be uncasseroled. Yeah, I mean, Those green beans don't need to exist at all, but like if I have to eat something, then sure, I'll take a green oh bean. My gosh. <sighs> so what'd you, what'd you eat on Thanksgiving? I picked around on my plate. And you know what's even crazier? My sister's fiance is a chef, so he made really good Thanksgiving food. Like People were loving it. And, and I was you, like, and you're just like mm. it's not that. It's just like, have you tried anything else? Like, have you ever had non-Thanksgiving food? Because it's better. <laughs> like every it other is, day of my life is it a feast is compared to Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is my lightest eating day. I'm like, oh my God, I'm dieting. I'm looking for more. You know what's really good on Thanksgiving? Chips and dip. Have you ever had chips and dip? Delicious. Yeah, at like noon before yeah, the three I o'clock. Did. That's where I fill I up. That's where I fill onion up. Dip. Onion dip and chips. I'm like, thank God there's... Potato oh, chips. This hurts me. I love Thanksgiving food so much. I'm so happy Thanksgiving over. Let's bring on the Christmas and we'll have a big what Italian. Do you, what meal. do you like it for Christmas? We'll have an Italian dinner. What kind of Italian food? At all. Anything Italian, bring it on. Maybe even a Mexican feast. Hopefully, what, I like lasagna. Food lasagna sounds great. Gnocchi, ravioli. Not even Italian. <laughs> you know, I feel like I could be a little bit of any everything. <laughs> could see that <laughs> you know you just never know you i say i'm irish but you know there's got to be a couple other there's got to be italian there. i think there's english and some french italian german a little bit of, a touch of everything hmm. i touch all the countries speaking of touch, touch all the white countries <laughs> well i freckle easily so you know i do <laughs> <laughs> wish i had freckles really no yeah i do i do you can draw them on now yeah and you can get them tattooed on your body yeah you can get anything you want now there's no such thing as if i don't have it i can't i don't have it you can get it now also freckles is like there's like the oh cute little freckles and then there's just like your face is like 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 i have like brown ones that are just like covered my 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 arms are side covered yeah yeah check Uh, out my arms yeah lucky gal really you just want those like little spots yeah i don't think you do yeah they're beauty spots no (laughs) a beauty mark is like what's her name the famous, you know, the famous model. Oh, that has the oh, beauty mark. oh. Um, Cindy Crawford. Cindy Crawford. Yeah. That's a beauty mark. Freckles are the touch of the sun. Yeah. The, the touch of the Irish. <laughs> I want to talk about, you said losing touch. No. Okay. Let's talk about it though. Do we lose touch with friends? Do we kick them out? No, you said something and I transitioned and then, then I forgot. Are you kidding me? Bring it back. Okay. Well, it was on my list. I'm losing my fingerprints. You're going to burn off your fingerprints so you can commit murder? No. Oh. 
but <laughs> <laughs> I've lost my fingerprints. Look, let me see. Thumbs, they're gone. How would I be able to know if your fingerprints are there? You can see the skin is peeled off. There's no more fingerprint Up left. Up at the top because you burned your thumbs. How, how deep do your fingerprints run? Like how many layers are we oh, talking? Let me see. I see your prints there. No, no there's no prints. They've gone. I see it. Wow, your hands are so moist. Like a towelette. No one's ever said that to me before. Let me touch your hands. They're so dry and this is with lotion. You're a soft girl though. In general, like if I move from here to here, all of a sudden... Soft? So soft. Really? Big. Touch my freckly arms. That's dry as a motherfucking bone. You should see my legs. It is a little dry. In comparison to your wet hands. But I'm <laughs> I'm missing my... So like, how many layers do our fingerprints go? I don't know like, if they could go like, that far because is it don't like people two burn off layers? Their, no, like it's got to go deeper than that. Well, mine is gone. Is it I just don't, I don't thumbs? have it. Yeah, they're gone on my thumbs. I see your fingerprints. I'm looking but at them. Y- you see that it's I also s- kind of distorted. I see like maybe one fourth of your finger is distorted from the rest. But I yeah. think if you murdered and you left your thumb, they'd still find you. <gasps> if you're not in the system, that. if you're not in the system, like you haven't been arrested and you fingerprint, bam, 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 bam. Yeah. And then they, so you can get away with murder. Do you ever think about Leaving. I mean, if they if they catch you as a suspect, then they would finger. Say like Alina after. kills a rando, just like a random, random person. I would never. No one would yeah. know. So she leaves her prints everywhere. She's, but if they she's had, they have fingering had plausible the plausible cause, they could get my a, a DNA whole. sample from me. But there's yeah, no prop exactly. cause. There's no prop cause. Oh, there's no prop so cause. So Alina just drives up to the middle of like no. Northern California. And yeah, just it'd be an unsolved case for twenty something. years. Yeah. yeah, until I got like a ticket or something. And but I you get tickets. Be, you, you don't get thumb, your thumbprint thumb there. That, yeah. Wow! So they can only get you. Then that's do you ever stuff. think about when your hair falls on the ground that you're leaving behind evidence, like someone could plant your hair somewhere, and then you could be a suspect in a murder? You know what? No, because I haven't <laughs> seen any dead bodies <laughs> where I walk. I think I get nervous, like when my hair comes out, because I'm like, damn, I'm I'm leaving myself here. But a girl's hairs fall out. Like I, I mean, I'm shedding like crazy. Yeah, but now everyone knows I was here. But there's no dead bodies around where you're walking. Yeah, but what if it catches on else, someone else's shoe and then like... No, they carry there. that shoe around and then they murder? Yeah, I also just feel like you're... You shouldn't be like giving out your DNA like that to the world. Wait, can they track you from your hair? But so you're not in the system. You leave your hair. Can they get you there? What if my bleach no. my hair? Can they find me now? <laughs> Maybe not. This ain't my hair no more. No, bleach is still there. Oh. But don't you, do you ever think about how you just, okay. (laughs) How you're just leaving, leaving yourself in places? Like free DNA? No, you're you're leaving your free DNA. I don't think people are just randomly walking around trying to collect, you know? (laughs) (laughs) Like if I'm sitting down at a restaurant and I'm, I'm eating and one of my hair strands fall out, I don't think there's someone close by thinking, I'm grabbing that hair. And I'm going to put it in a little pastry bag. But they I'm going to go murder. And, then- and they could find out everything about your chromosomes. Could they? From my hair? Yeah. Just one strand of hair. Yes. One strand. Yes. No, I've sent my hair into those places to try to like see like how I'm doing health wise. Let me tell you, you need a motherfucking chunk. So somebody would have to come up to me, get scissors, snip, snip. And I'd say, are you using my uh- hair for a murderer? <laughs> 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 and then they'd be like, fuck you found me out and that's when um that's when i'd catch him i'd call police right there i'd say this guy's trying to take i my think hair. they can use your hair for anything even just a strand no i'm telling you not one strand. yeah pick up a strand throw it on the body there we go sarah did the murder there's no way there's no way one strand would do that <laughs> i'm telling you i'm 100 confirmed you uh, need no. a thick chunk no a strand can do it you know why why because even a pube can do it but and they don't have pube. my pubes in the system. My pubes aren't in the system. No, but I'm saying it, they can catch you from a pube. They can catch you from a strand of hair. That's more maybe hair than a pube. Maybe pubes have more DNA than hair. No. Because maybe my hair's too long, it's dead. But maybe my pube is closer to my body. Oh, because it's unbleached? Yeah. Well, yeah. What about your dead skin <laughs> or like a booger? Like, are you ever worried? Never. You're worried about your boogies? I'm worried about people finding my DNA. Have you ever sent your DNA into 23andMe? No. Okay. Well, so you then know why? Then you're clear. Because they, they catch they you get for you a crime. In the system. I know. 
<laughs> I stay clear of that shit too, girl. Yeah. You don't have my DNA? Yeah. I'm just going to guess I'm Irish. Yeah. Because my freckles. Yeah. And your yeah. last name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and just tracing my family tree. Yeah. I love a good family tree chase. Family tree chase? Chase my tree? Mm-hmm. Chase my tree? Yeah. God, what else keeps you up at night? A lot. A lot. I should have known. I yeah. should have known. You know what I would like to discuss? Mm-hmm. Time permitting. It feels just, like we've talked for an hour. Did you just check your clock? No. Do you have your phone in your lap? Yes. <laughs> you bitch. Someone's got to keep us on track. That's why we have Alex here. Yeah, but. <laughs> that could mean uh, anything. Yeah. I don't know what numbers are. You uh, know that. It looks like Is you this- were trying to be a frog. <laughs> That looks like frog fingers. No, these are frog fingers. No. The fighting frogs. TCU, right? Hello, the horn frogs. I've, I've tried, another no, another I, topic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you guys even? Oh my a god, horn it's the world cup. Frog? Yeah, but what are we gonna talk? Yeah, what eight, are we gonna? Yeah. Are, are you gonna watching say? it? No, I want to talk about something. I okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. They're not sorry watching. They're not watching that. Are you watching? Of course I'm. Oh my god, are you so stoked for tomorrow's match? Of course I'm. Okay, who's tonight. playing? The USA. Yes. yes. And Iran. Iran. If we win, we're in. If we lose, we're out. Get on your t-shirts. It. Get your pom-poms. America. Shake your tees at the TV. Bam. We're going to win. But we're not very good, right? Pretty Me- good. On the men's Pretty team good. this yeah. year, we're doing our best. Listen, they, they, they talk, where is they talk Mia Hamm? Retired. She's the girl, so she's not on the boys' yeah. team. I know, but where has she been? She's like she's, sometimes does announcing and yeah, stuff. Yeah, she's sick. I named, I she's named sick? my little sister after her. Like, uh, she's like, cool. sick. Like, she's sick. My little sister's middle name is is my, Mia Maya. I said Mia, but they they wanted Maya instead. But I wanted Mia Ham. Oh so. Maya! Do you know? Okay, this is a. We are going down a rabbit hole. Yeah. Let's go back to the, t- <laughs> yeah, the sorry, point sorry. because we need to be more structured here, you guys. Yeah, we really do. Yeah. Sorry, World Cup tomorrow. Watch it, cheer it. And Alina's watching. Yeah, Alina's gonna be our lucky charm. No, no, I'm saying what was Lena watching? Oh, yeah, you're watching something on the TV. Yeah, and I don't think you're watching it. And make, it actually makes <gasps> White me... White Lotus. Sh- yes! <laughs> yes! Last night's episode. Holy shit! <laughs> I Last- thought you were watching. Oh, my God. This season has been way more epic than the season one. Oh Everyone's a suspect. Everyone's up you for death. Yes. You watched season one? Yes. And we talked about it? We might, we might no, have skipped I over think, it, I, I think. think so. season, season two. two. <gasps> It's, oh, Did yes. you watch the season with Mike White, Survivor? No, I'm not really sure who Mike White is. Like creator of the show. No, I know who <laughs> Mike White is, but I can't. I don't have a visual representation of him in my mind. Oh, he was in the season with. Uh, you know, I've only watched one season of Survivor. Oh, he was in an amazing season with it. This very, very annoying girl who was trying to steal people's sweaters okay, for was herself, she though. She 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 said she was, but oh, she might have been. He was just a, he's just a genius. The writing, so good. The shots, so good. The characters, so good. That is maybe I've been thinking. This may be the best show I've ever seen in my life. Have you seen Game? That's who I thought it was. Thank you. Yeah. That's who I thought it was. Actually, you just said I have no reference. Well, I didn't want to be wrong, but that's who I actually thought it was. <laughs> That's who I was yeah, okay, hoping I was thinking Right it was. now, yeah. I feel like it is the best show I've ever yeah. seen in my entire life. I am obsessed yeah. with it. Yeah. <sighs> we really should have started a deep dive on this show at the beginning of the episode. But maybe we can do that next week. So we'll watch next week's episode. So. Oh, yes. And then I'm that could so be one of our deep dives. Because I was like, Sarah's <laughs> fucking watching what? what the Netflix show that you keep asking me to watch. What? Love oh. is Blind or something. Oh, yeah. Watch so Love I was is like, Blind. Sarah's watching that and she's not watching... The most amazing TV show. And I'm no. going to have to convince her on the podcast to watch White Lotus. No problems. <sighs> okay. Can we talk about theories? All right. We just watched episode five. We just watched episode five. So I'm just so like- So if you, in case you don't know, White Lotus is a show on HBO. This is the second season and it perfectly encapsulates hotel culture. Uh, also just like, um, Travel. This has never been my hotel experience, just so everyone knows. Has it been yours? No, but I feel like you see a couple like that when you're on oh, vacation. Oh, 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 oh. And also just perfectly captures uh, the dynamic of families when they travel, the dynamic of couples, hotel staff, what it's like to work in retail, like just everything. And yeah. then this, so the first season was in Hawaii. Yep. 
um, we actually went to an event and at that hotel in Hawaii. No, oh. and the hotel, the hotel guy. What's oh his name? yes, 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 the Australian. Yes, I just he was there. Murray. Murray. Yes, I was gonna say. I googled him on my way up. You did? Yes. Well, he was right in front of us, and I really wanted to say hi to Murray. I think he would have loved that. I know. He seemed so cool in person. I'm shocked you didn't say anything. Me too. I was very upset. I was most excited to Just see like, him. I like, loved you on my list. Yes. Loved your poo. Oh, my God. He was so crazy. That was madness. But season two, how it ended last night. Yes. Okay, what is your theory? I have I don't theories. Even, I don't even have a theory because... I actually called the scammy Yes. Oh, of the gays? Of the gays at the beginning. You said I you said, don't think you don't trust I them. said you, when you have wealth, you don't flaunt it the way they are. Maybe on vacation in Sicily. No, the, no they the way they're trying to like show it oh. to Jennifer Coolidge. But they didn't really show it as much as they did in that first episode as they did in this last episode. No, five. they were like, we have this house here. We have a yacht. We have this. We have all this. You have to see it. You have to see it. You don't do that when you're super wealthy. Oh. You know what I mean? When I you're guess. like, I, I, I don't really know. I caught, I caught there. I didn't get, I didn't catch a whiff until last night. I was like this, like when they took her to the house, I was like, hmm. Oh no. I noticed it when they were, when they were saying, let's go. And I was like, hmm. And then they showed that it's very easy to rent a villa. So that's definitely not their well, at villa. At first I was like, was that villa the same villa that the two Me girls too. went? That's I was what like, I thought, but it's really different. similar. It's different. Okay. But I maybe, think they maybe all set villas up look the same. Yeah. They set up that it was easy to rent villas yeah. by the two girls getting a villa. Yeah. So it was like, they must not own, they must not have, Alex, have you seen? Okay, we won't oh, give too much I've away. I've been off because I do want to watch the show. Though. It's only, yeah, it's five episodes. Yeah. You can watch them all it's today. It's so good. Um, but basically, yeah, this season is in Sicily. So I was getting so much nostalgia from yeah. like Italy, but and then Jennifer Coolidge is still in it. And basically this, the show, both seasons, it starts like the first 10 minutes, like you find out someone died. Yeah. And so it's kind of like a missed murder mystery. You're trying to figure out who possibly died. And um, multiple people would die this season. Multiple. How do you know? Because that one. happens in the first 10 minutes. They say they're running upstairs and it's to the guy, to the hotel manager. And he's like, we have three bodies. We, there could be more. Wait, that's I, the, I the, just didn't hear that. That's the first 10 minutes of the show. Oh yeah. So you're just kind of trying to figure out who dies. Um, the, do you think that Greg is with the, the guy? Who's Greg? Greg is Jennifer Coolidge's husband. Oh, do you think, no, I don't, I don't, I wasn't I thinking think, he was involved. I thought he, no, he said he was in love with a cowboy. Oh, I think it's Greg. Oh, and he would do Greg, anything for him. Yeah, because Greg was on the phone. You didn't know if he was talking to a man I or thought, a woman. I thought it was a girl. That's what you assume. But he could have been talking to a man. But he was saying, like, I have to go to Colorado. That could be a cowboy town. Yes. Okay, I wasn't going there. That's what I think. I think he is oh. with Greg. Oh, wow. Do you think that the nephew is hired? Or do you think that the it nephew... It has to be because of what happened the last oh, yeah. 30 seconds. Yeah. That can no longer be his nephew. Yeah. yeah. And well, it's not his nephew. But Noelle and I were dying over the position. I've never seen anything like it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to. I don't. <laughs> I'm clenching the my man, The man was looking like when Ollie's trying to get a treat. I know. I know. I know. I was. I went like this. <gasps> yeah, that was. It. There's definitely not the nephew. Definitely not the if nephew. If it is, we have another problem on our hands. But I. De yeah. And that's why he didn't pay because they don't actually have money. Who didn't pay? I know. Well, that was a huge ding, yes. ding, 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 ding. I was like, uh-oh. Yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah. Fuck. And 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 Albie is going to take her home. Wait, Albie is going to take the blonde? No. Wait, who's home? Albie is going to take P Portia? Oh, the the escort? Yes. What's her name? I don't know. We should know their names. I don't I mean, know anyone's names. I don't even I mean, know I mean, I know names. Albie. Albie is going to take the girl home. That? She wants to live in LA. He's going to take her home to LA. I know. Or do they die? Or did no. the escorts die? No, they were on the beach. I didn't see the escorts on the beach. Yes, they were on the beach. Lucia? Yeah, Lucia. I'd, I'd have to go back and rewatch. Lucia. Oh, Lucia. I don't know. They were on the beach. I didn't see them. And Divergence. Who's Divergence? The guy in Divergent. Oh, James Theo or Theo yes. James? 
he his wife was on the beach. She, she wasn't talking to the hookers in the first scene. That wasn't them. It was too random. I need to people. rewatch the first scene. It, th- those were not the the hookers, the escorts, the ladies of the night, if you will. Those were two random people. I'm positive. Um, there's watch me be wrong. You know, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of um, meaning in the art in the I shows. Know, I know, and that's why I'm trying to look at it, but it's obviously going. So over one my of head. one of one of the scenes where our Aubrey Plaza is like laying in the bed. Yeah. There's a painting nearby in her room and the guess the painting it's like a very famous painting and in the in like the backstory of it is like the guy in the painting is trying to make advances on her, which I think is Theo. Oh, trying to make okay. And uh he ends up raping her <gasps> and she's like riddled with guilt, so she kills herself. <gasps> Well, do, have you been noticing that he's been like very touchy with her? Yes, because he's doing the thing that he called him out for, which is when he likes a girl, oh, he yeah. tries to assert the, dominance. Yeah. This show's- oh, the trainer, <gasps> the baby. Oh my God, the babies. I was like, I didn't catch bangster. it. Bangster. I thought, it, okay, so, so there's this scene and she's like, oh yeah, I mess around with my trainer all the time. He's like really cute. He's got blue eyes yeah. and blonde hair. Do you want to see a picture? And she hands him the phone and she's like, this is a picture of your kids. Like you didn't show me him. And so she's he, like, like fathered the kids. She's like, Oh weird. I was like, what a way to write that. Well, I know what a way to write. Well, that have in. you noticed like a lot of like murdery things are being said in the dialogue? Oh throughout? yeah. When they took out the trunk, they're like, Oh, you could put a dead body. In yeah. There. Or like him saying like, Oh, I'm homicidal. Yeah. Instead of everything like, suicidal. is like written so fucking smart every scene is so smart the artwork in the background is like is like foreshadowing what's gonna happen the music like every everything that mike white put in this show is just immaculate i know i appreciate him and i'm antsy for next i don't think i don't think there's a better show i agree except like probably game of thrones except for when i'm watching the next show i will say that's the best show yeah i mean this is up there with the top but this is like the level like the character building, like the score, like that's not kind of loud. You think it was a trash can? Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. Insane. I agree. I have butterflies just thinking about it. And I keep thinking, how fun would it be to like be picked to be an actor in this? And like you're going to this amazing place in Sicily and you're staying at this hotel. You know what I think about? What? Uh, the assistant? Yes. She has to wear those green nails for months of filming. I haven't even noticed the nails. Like you don't like her green nails? No, it's just like once you commit to that on a show that's like only going to go for two weeks when you're on vacation, like you got to wear the same color nails. You know what I always think about these shows? It's like. Hi. Oh, no. Who's that? The Italian stallion. (laughs) He's licking me. You know what he's not doing? He's not humping you. Not yet. You just give him a moment that. to fully see me. <laughs> um, God, now I've lost track of time because I'm thinking about him humping. Um, it's gone. You can't trust me in my brain anymore. You were talking about the nails, the green nails. Oh, what I was yeah. saying was like sometimes in shows when they make people look really pretty in the morning, I get really butthurt about that because I'm like, you know how long it would take to curl your hair like that, bitch? Hours. Oh, 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 and you're just going to wake up out of bed and have nice clothes? Think again. Sometimes I, I do Oh, wake up. My hair is pretty the same. I hate myself. <laughs> <laughs> I look. But the fresh the face morning. of makeup. This is the is best not. I look right here, right now. You know what I mean? Shit. You have your hair looking good in the morning? Sometimes it doesn't really move. You're like sleeping beauty. No, but the makeup goes. Do you kick around when you sleep a lot or do you pretty much just lay in the same spot? A toss. What do you mean the makeup goes? Take your makeup off. Sometimes I don't. Monster. So it's like you're in the white lotus and you just wake up and you're like, yeah, I'm on on vacation. I really want you to watch the show. Well, watch it, catch up, and then next week. I'll watch, but I need to watch the first season. I mean, I no, know you don't. I know, no, it's no, not, it's, no, I know it's not. No, you should related, watch it. But you I should watch the first season. First. Just you should watch it. the first I'll season. Watch first, season first. Skip it. first season when she like her water breaks and she's just like, I gotta keep working. Wait, when was that? And my girl Sid's in the first season, so I gotta watch that. Oh my god, she's 
Very, very mean. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I saw a clip. I thought she seemed like just like normal as opposed to Euphoria character. No, she's well, it's normal comparatively maybe to the Euphoria. She's, uh, she's uh, a mean girl. Oh, okay. Yeah. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. She perfectly oh. encapsulates. Yeah. I had just she seen, looks like someone that would bully me. I had just seen the scene where her, she was like helping her dad or her dad was like in shock that his dad was gay. Or something oh, like that. Oh yeah, <laughs> and she just seemed like really funny. I thought I thought she had like a light and like fun character. She the does dad like, just looking at his dick the whole time. Oh God, the the she is she does have like funny one liners, but she's uh. in no way like nice. Okay, I thought yeah, she was like yeah. comedic relief, but no, okay. no, gotcha, no, gotcha, no. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Nothing in the show is like comedic relief. It's all just like oh, awkward. Yeah. Like you don't like, have that like you relief feel moment. you feel like you're there gotcha. on vacation, yeah. like Sweet. seeing them. <sighs> Oh, well, okay. Next week we're doing deep dives. Deep dives. We're gonna. I'm gonna remember. Remember all the names. I really didn't come that prepared because I just assumed you. We weren't watching. What? Why do you assume that? Because you didn't tell me anything about you watching. You well, neither did you. No. Huh? But I watch every show. Do you know my friend Tana stayed at the hotel that they're in in Sicily? It's a Four Seas. Oh, she stayed there. Wow. I know. She's top dog. Isn't that sick? Yeah. I want to go there now. I'm dying to go there. I don't think I'll ever be able to stay there, but I'll look at it. I'll be like the hookers. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I'm going to get myself in. But I would never hook. I would just like, I just like to hang out with the old guys because I like old people, you know, like Isn't maybe they need companionship, companionship, Sugar baby. But I don't, I'm not trying to look at look at their peepees. I'm no, just you, trying to hang out with the oldies. You can I bet be, they have it good seems stories. like you're pretty fascinated with dicks. I think you should look at them. I don't want to. I don't want to see an old penis. You can be a sugar baby without having sex with them, I'm pretty sure. I think it'd just be fun to be like, the penises get wrinkly? Yes. For sure. For sure. Yes. Also needs retinol. No no one's putting retinol on their peepees yeah. or their VVs. <laughs> I'd love to be Jennifer Coolidge's sugar baby. She could take me there anytime. No, I couldn't fucking, take it. I, I couldn't what do you take mean? her. I love her so much. She's so good. I think she's good too, but like I could not be her assistant. Like how the assistant is, I couldn't. No, not do her it. assistant, sugar baby. No, but she's uh, so funny. She is hilarious. Like when they were like, did you watch Sweet Life of the American Teenager? No. Oh, the Secret like, Life of the American Teenager. Oh yeah, <laughs> Sweet Life of Zach and Cody. That was the pregnant show, right? Secret Life of the American yeah. Teenager. Yeah. When she, <laughs> what? <laughs> right? when they're hooking up on the boat, and she's just like, I'm jealous. I know you're having sex. I'm jealous. <laughs> yeah. It's like oh. She is jealous, but she shouldn't be because she shouldn't have been doing that every guy. Time she, every time she calls in bed, she's like, I need you to come here. I'm bored. <laughs> it's like I do that with Corbin. Yeah, I do feel like her sometimes. I know. Like, where are you? Yeah. <laughs> been alone for five minutes. Yeah. Dang. I'm so excited. Me okay, too. so who's your theory that? Who dies? I go, I, I change all the time every day. Like okay. every single, like who do I think right now after last episode dies? Yeah. If I'm going with three people. I didn't, I just go with one. I think it's Aubrey. But I know th there's three bodies in the water. I think it's Aubrey. You know, I don't know. I don't know. And then he mentions like some lady maybe, falls over. Maybe it's Albie. Cliff. Albie doesn't die. Maybe it's the dad. No, no, no. You don't think any one of the grandpa, dad, or son die? No, no. They're they're going back to L.A. I with Lucia. I think maybe the dad kicks the bucket. No. I the think dad. I think maybe the dad. No, the dad has to stay because he's got to tell his son, "No, you can't bring back Lucia." Maybe they fight over Lucia, and you and can't bring her back die. because I slept with her. Maybe they all die over that. He's like, "You cheated on my mother." Death. <coughs> it's got to be someone who has access to a boat. No, they were in the water. They could have just died anywhere. So I think, and they could have been dumped in the water. We don't know if the boat. <laughs> it's got to be someone who has access to a boat. So it's got to be the new people that are trying to con Coolidge. I don't know. I don't know about that. One. Uh, I do. Oh, so you've seen the end? Yeah, I like the, the theory, but they could dump. There's cliffs. They could pow, pow just dump them off the side. Nah. But like, okay, we'll see. Huh. Can't wait to see what our next episode leads us. Because there's only like eight episodes, right? So we only have two more. I think it's 10. Oh. Doesn't it go to 10? Please say it goes to 10. I thought it was eight. I thought the first season was I need, eight. I needed it to go to 10. I'm not ready. I'm not ready to part Well, don't take my word episodes. on it. I could be wrong about everything. 
that's ever been come out of my mouth <laughs> that's ever come oh my god when, Al- when albie's having sex and he's like i'm gonna come Ugh. it's disgusting i know he's so gross i know nine, like, ep- nine episodes in the season oh okay uh, so it's in between what we thought he's um he's definitely interesting what they're trying to portray him i know I need some in, someone in between Albie and, and the guy that's having sex with his uncle. The nephew. You know, you, you can't go too far to the uncle stuff and you can't go too far to the Albie stuff. Yeah. Wait, are you doing a horn frog? No, this is how the dad was, this is how the, the guy, the uncle was sitting. Stop. Now I have it in my head again. I know, I know. And just seeing Jennifer Coolidge watching them have sex. And oh. how did they not see her see them? I know. She's not discreet. She's not discreet. And she's she's not someone that just can peek. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. She could, she could peek anytime. No. On you? It was a yeah. really graphic Oh my God. Alex would scene. totally date Jennifer Coolidge. That's like oh, right absolutely. up his alley. Yeah. <laughs> That's like kind of the age range that he goes for. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyone else trying to get with Alex? Sorry, if you ain't fifty and above, you ain't in line. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) he's getting a lot of enjoyment out of that because he knows it's true. He's turning red because he's like, "Fuck, they see me. They know who I am." Look at how red he is. Oh my god, he's so red. (laughs) Did you hook up with a fifty plus this last week? Not this past week, no. Okay, this is this is this is not an often fifty plus. How many? If he can, if I can, a lot. Like how many have happened? No. I mean, not how many people have you slept with how many yeah, people how many, over 35 over, over, over 35 a handful wow maybe that- two i don't know <laughs> what is that i'm looking at the handful of girls <laughs> oh. you're getting a handful of the yeah. girls <laughs> interesting interesante <laughs> okay see you guys next week <laughs> Is that it? We'll de- we'll dive yeah. deeper into Alex's over fifty. We'll deep <laughs> diaper. <laughs> so the deep dives will be White Lotus, Alex's fifty year olds. Yeah, we'll do a whole episode about Alex's relationship. <laughs> yeah, they're so entertaining, you yes. guys. And we'll have less topics. Yeah, start thinking now, girl. Start thinking now. All right. Oh, over I and out. Ready. Oh, over and out. Okay. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> <laughs> What's your sign off today? I don't know. I just I felt like, you know, when you go live and you don't know that you're we're live. Yeah, I like just feel that. like I don't know. I didn't it wasn't we're done? You could okay. Say, you could say sayonara. Okay. See you later. Alligator. Okay. That works. See ya. <laughs>